right, guys, yep. back again next day doing this timing belt. So yesterday we got everything off. Now we're just gotta get uh, some things cleaned up and we need to take off the uh, cam um, gears, the little backing plate and a sensor. Get the cam seals out, replace those really quick and get the crank seal out, replace that and then we should be set to go. So that's, that's the plan. Um, so you're aware there's a good video out there of a guy who did those seals on a 3.4 liter. Um, there's a special little tool, looks super cool and makes this jump super fast. I don't have it, couldn't find it in town. So we are where we are, so uh, it kind of sucks. But it is a cool tool if you can find it. It's a uh, sh shaft style seal puller. It's a little, it has a handle similar to like this and a little rod that's bolted into it and like a very thin metal end that gets underneath the seal. You use that rod to prop it up against something and then use it to pry, pass it right out. So wish I had one, don't. We will be using probably some uh, uh, hooked pin, uh, hooked picks to get a hold of it and pull them out. So that's the plan. You gotta be really careful that you don't mar anything and uh, but that's all we have, so we gotta do use what we got. All right, guys, we're gonna get started. Here we go. If you do what I'm doing, you have to be careful. This is all aluminum. You do not want to screw this up. 
This is your head. This is a mess. If you fuck this up, you might as well just go home. So I would say if you don't have this tool, you don't feel comfortable doing this, and the seals look fine, psh, leave it. I would not do what I'm doing, to be completely honest with you. So that's definitely a you know, discretionary. If you want to do it, fine. You know, hey, more power to you. But, yeah. Don't go running around saying I'm going to do this. Because it looks so easy. Because this is not the way you want to remove gaskets and oil seals. Okay. There it so it's starting to come out. Again, not the way to do it, not recommended, absolutely 100% not, but I'm here. I understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, and I understand the risks I'm taking. Don't recommend you taking these risks. So, just putting that out in the world. I don't want anybody coming back to me saying, you ruined my car because I killed your wife. I don't want to hear it. I warned you. I said the, the risk you're taking, and I know the risks I'm taking. I'm willing to take this risk for new seals. If I were you, I would order that tool
All right, guys, we're gonna call that it for the day. I'm gonna get the torque specs for it, and then uh, we'll move forward after that with finishing it up. Really getting pretty damn close. Get that stuff torqued down, put the belt on, and then just put the accessories back on, and yeah, it'll be done. So, torquing is always a trick, because you wanna do it right, and not screwed up, so. All right, guys. Till tomorrow. Peace.